Hello, subscribers. Hello, YouTubers. Hello, viewers and everybody else out there. Now, my hair does need, it does, I really need to do it again. I'm working on it. We're moving this week and it's just a lot. But moving on from that. Where's Megan? <laughs> no, seriously, like where is Megan? Because listen, this is her husband's moment. This is it. My daughter put stuff in my... This is his moment. This is his baby. This is his bread and butter. And he's out there promoting and talking to Anderson and all these people. And he doesn't know all these American people going around doing all this. Oh, my God. I would be so concerned about Harry. Like, I would, like if I was Megan... I would be like, oh my God, honey, you know, we're in this together no matter what, <laughs> you know, good and bad. Where is she holding his hand? Remember, she loved holding his hand real tight. But where is the hand holding now? Like, where is she? Someone asked that question. And I, I thought it was legit since they've been promoting all of this stuff. And... You don't have anything to say. It just feels like she goes her husband. Because let me tell you something. I don't care what nobody say. Even if I did help him write the book. <laughs> you know? <laughs> mm -mm, you can't back down now, Megan. No. What you need I've been right by his side. Like, you know what? He, he was by yours when he, he sat on that couch and lied about the racism and all that. I'm just saying, where is she? I, you know what? I know I don't give her a break, but that might be a little bit more harder on her than I should. But this is just me, what I'm thinking. Like, I would have been on the front row seat of all these shows and... Behind, I would have been right there holding his hand. He would have known. He would have smelt me in the room. He would have been like, there she go. Like, I would have, wouldn't have left his side if I was in her position. Because he's out there now. Like, he needs me more than anything now because he's going against everything he loved. And everything he knows. So, if Harry's going to go through all of that... He's going to need someone holding his hand, too. And I think in some of them interviews, even though if she wasn't saying nothing, she still should have been sitting there. Just let me know what you think about that. I just, I might be, if I'm being hard on, on her, let me know. But I'm just saying, he's in her country. He's in her territory. He's in her her battlegrounds. He's doing this for her. Or why is Harry doing this? Ooh, that's a good question. The answer he always gives us don't make sense. It's always, well, this is the only way we can get it done. Get what done? Hmm. I just wonder if it was me, what would I be doing right now? I think I just would be by my man, though. I would definitely be by Harry's side because <laughs> people like myself, that's why I would be by his side. Because we're just going to tell the truth. But I just it's just weird that she's ghosted him. Hopefully she hasn't, and I'm making up stuff. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's just give her that. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> You know, you know what someone said? Oh, you need to back up off her for, for what? She gets the blackmail. <laughs> no. She ain't let up on Jeremy. Jeremy <laughs> Clarkson. She didn't let she didn't she didn't give him a break. He about to lose his job like all the rest of them. Someone else said that 
yeah, he's going to lose his job. Just like Pierce Morgan and the rest of everybody that she touches. They lose their job and then it's okay. We cancel these people because of something she said. We go after Samantha and her dad because of something she said. We hate the world people. Or we think that they're racist. And let me tell you something. Some powerful women that was on Pierce Morgan's show. Like Arlene, the one, the Black Lives Matter young lady. Beautiful. With integrity. I changed my views on her quick. She, and I know I'm pronouncing her name incorrectly, but she was manipulated too. And she came out and she said, wait a minute. You know, they lied. That was probably very di difficult for her to do. And you know what? I give her her props for that. That's a lady. That's someone with integrity. Because they can come out and, uh, and say that. And then, you know what? <laughs> Went over people like little old me. And be like, yeah, I'm a support her. Like, like what, what are you doing next? Like, what's going on in your life? Like, I want to know what's going on. Her name is spelled I... M R A N Armin, and I know I'm saying it incorrectly. Please forgive me. But my point is, is that she admitted it. Like she came and was just like, you know what? And that's someone that I felt with integrity. No, she didn't go in on them. She didn't. She said that she was wrong. And. If, for me, Pierce Morgan, to me, she was such, so classy. The, the ones that just keep driving it home and think that it's just that the British people are racist or William them are racist. You heard it from your, his, his, his mouth. My family isn't racist. That's what, um, that's what... Harry said, Harry came on TV and told Tom, he said, my family isn't racist. Who said we were racist? The press? <laughs> Tom looked at him like this. He said, no. You remember when you were sitting on the couch with Oprah, you and Megan? And you could tell Harry had got hot <laughs> because he was lying. And so... Talk, you know, all of a sudden they change, which is fine. Okay, you're not racist. Now they're trying to tell us that two years later. So like the queen said, <laughs> recollect, re recollections may vary. The story may vary a little bit because, ooh, that's a different point of view. Sorry if I'm pronouncing things incorrectly. <sighs> But I just, mm, where is she? Maybe someone knows. And listen, I'm not trying to keep tabs on her. But it, isn't it eerie quiet that she's this quiet? And she just went and got an award. <laughs> she went and just got an award for racism against the royal family. I'm just saying. <laughs> She did do that. I mean, because here is this book is whoop off the chain. <laughs> so I'm just wondering. I hope she hasn't ghost him. I hope she's not trying to plan her exit already. Too soon. <laughs> I'm just being honest. It's too soon, Megan. Too soon. Too soon. You, you can be upset, but you helped him wrote you helped him write that crap, Ola. And you are the cause of all this. <laughs> I don't for you to blame Harry, I don't blame Harry on any of this stuff. Just that he's just a little ooh. He got caught up, caught up bad in a really badness way. Like, ooh.
Tell me what you think. <laughs>